Hello. So uh, it's the middle of summer, and I wanted to give you an update on what's going on with History 201. And a big part of the update is simply tell you, I've got stuff up there. If you want to start working on the course, that's great. And you kind of think about it this way. If you, you know, for every hour you spend doing work now over the summer when maybe you have more free time is an hour you won't have to be working in the fall. Right. So that's something to think about. If you've got a fall that you, you're like, oh, I'm going to be slammed and you got free time now, you can go ahead and start working. Now, one thing I, I want to first stress is that I have a schedule and this goes to the second issue. So because of COVID-19 pandemic and because, you know, we're still trying to figure out how things are going to work. We're the fact that you're supposed to be flexible. And one thing trying to do to prevent or to encourage, help us to, to have more social distancing is that students only half the class will meet at a time. Right. So don't worry. There'll still be, you know, lectures and things. So we'll still get a full course in there. There'll be activities to do outside of class and the like, but the class will only meet. Uh, I'm sorry students only half the class will meet at a time so i'll be there monday and wednesday for example uh meeting with students in a classroom discussion but only half the class will meet monday half the class will meet wednesday now i will give you that division later once i have a better sense of how things are going to be um but we will only have the class will meet at a time now you can see on that first thursday there's some stuff that's going to be due um and I'll talk more about assignments, but generally things will be due Monday morning. And what's key is it doesn't matter what group you're a part of, the assignments are all still due the same time. So there's no advantage to being in group A or B in terms of what when the due dates are. So I just want to point that out. But that's the schedule. It's up there. It could change. A lot of this could change, but this is where we're at now. But should you want to get started, like I said, there's the schedule. This is the Blackboard page. The Blackboard page should be visible. There are different assignments you can go ahead and get started on. There's a book review assignment that is based on the book Introduction to Disease in the Modern World. I scanned the introduction, so you could go ahead and do book review assignment one. You can find the description of the assignment here, and this is where you would upload it. So do keep that in mind. You can go ahead and order the book. If you have questions about it, let me know. But if you just want to read the introduction and get that out of the way, it's scanned and up there so you can read it. This class has a final paper that will be due. Um, so History 201 is a skills-based class. Different professors teach it at different times, and we each choose a different content. So there's skills, and we all teach the same skills, but the content we use to teach the skills is different. Because of COVID-19, I'm doing disease, history of disease. So your final paper is on disease. So this is a topic sheet that lists the diseases that we're studying and primary sources related to them. So if you look at this, it will give you an idea of what disease we're going to study. And let's say that you're interested in looking at cholera. Well, cholera is what we're going to look at the first week. Let's say, though, you're interested in yellow fever. Well, we look at that at week five and week six. So what, do I, what does all that mean? Oops, went to the wrong file. And there's other assignments too, by the way. And here's the final paper assignment. You may want to have a look at that as well. But let's say we wanted to look at yellow fever. You could skip down to week five. And there's a response paper. So let's open. Oops, hit the wrong thing. There is a response paper. Oops, I forgot to upload the response paper. So let's find a place where I actually up. Okay, there's where I upload response paper four. So let's have a look at a response paper. I'll have to go back and fix week five. So when you look at a response paper, it'll have questions. But those first ones, if we go down here, notice they have something on the history of vaccines. And then here's something on smallpox. So if you're interested in doing smallpox, which is one of the diseases you can look at, you would want to skip on ahead to this. And if we look at, let's have a look at the schedule. There we go, smallpox. So you could go ahead and skip ahead and do that if you want to. If you're like, okay, I want to get started on the final paper. I need to look at a disease. And like I said, all the primary sources that you need um, are up there. The secondary sources I'm still working on. But the key thing is if you go to the final paper assignment, or I'm sorry, 
Oh, no, actually, I do want to be there. You would look at the topic sheet, and that will tell you the different topics. And each topic, it'll be like smallpox, and it'll list different primary sources you can look at to write a paper on smallpox. Then you would go down to finer paper and materials, and there... I may put up secondary sources later, that's why there's it. But then here's the documents. So you can go ahead and start doing watching the videos related to the diseases, which you'd have to do anyway. And then you can also go ahead and start looking at primary sources and start working on your paper. Like I said, every hour you spend working on it now is an hour you don't have to spend in the fall. So each week there is a response paper due, and you saw this in the schedule. And basically the idea is that you download the response paper and uh, let's go ahead and open up, oops, click the wrong thing, just to give you a sense. So the first response paper This gives you a sense of what the class is going to be about. So the Introduction to History 201 video. And then there's another video, Early Chinese Historiography. And so it'll say, answer the following questions based on, answer the following questions based on. And if you look here, oh, there we have the videos. So you click on it, it will link to the video. There you go. There's also, for example, this is interesting, Castration is the Price of Writing History. That's a PDF that you would uh, read. Please note that when you... Um, sometimes Blackboard does not like certain web browsers like Safari or Microsoft Edge. So if you try and access a PDF and you can't do it, I would recommend downloading Firefox or trying Chrome. I'm using Firefox. So just so you know, that's that just tends to be how things are. So basically you would just go through and you would answer these questions. And we'll have one of these every week. So keep that in mind. Remember, we're only meeting, each student will actually only meet for one hour, so we've got these other two hours outside of class that you would want to be doing um, work. Now, I don't mean it would only take two hours. What I'm talking about is just it makes up for the class time. So that is how that works. So should be fairly clear, right? Basically, you can start working on the final paper, you can start working on the book review, and you can start working on the response papers. Everything's up that you need. The only thing I haven't put up are quizzes because that tends to confuse people. It causes problems. If you want to get started on quizzes early, please email me and I will start putting up quizzes. But I've got all the way up to week nine. I'm hoping to get everything up. I don't have a schedule up yet or a syllabus up yet because that could change. I'm still waiting for the, the university is giving us guidance on what to, to add or take a change in our syllabi. But I can put up a rough schedule. So all that together, you can go ahead and I highly encourage you to start working on the course. One thing I need to stress also um, is I'm going to be around. Because of COVID-19, I can't really go anywhere. <laughs> so I'm just hanging around in my home office, working away, making this stuff together. Um, so got questions? I'm checking email. Feel free to email me. So good luck, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you all in the fall.